Laura de Sol Jimenez and I am the flute faculty at the Portland Conservatory of Music. Today, I'll be discussing a quintessential item of flute technique, air. We all know the flute works with air, but what aspects of that air are important in producing a good quality tone? I will briefly explain three air features and compare them to the bow of a string instrument, sort of as a visual analogy to help you better understand. Number one is that you need a large quantity of air. I like to think about it this way. Have you ever seen, let's say, a violin player play just with the tip of the bow for the whole concert? No, right? And that is because the amount of air of bow that you use and the amount of air that you use are directly related to the volume and quality of your tone. Number two, you need fast air. I like to think about it this way. It's the same as the friction that you produce with the pressure that you inflect on the string with the bow. So, if there is no friction between the bow and the string, it will not vibrate, no sound will be produced. The same with the flute. If your air is too slow to produce good friction, you will not have a good tone and sometimes you won't even be able to produce a sound at all. And number three, more than a feature, it's a conclusion, is that out of the control and balance between the two characteristics I mentioned before, you will be able to sort of mix and match and produce the tiny differences and nuance that will allow you to have a good quality tone throughout the register, a different, different colors in your, in your sound, and different dynamics or volume. I hope that all makes sense to you. And um, without further ado, I will perform for you one of my favorite pieces by composer Claude Debussy, Syrinx for Flute Along. <laughs> 